this video will likely come as no surprise to anyone who has been properly listening to a lot of the things that I teach and a lot of the things that I say about sort of female productivity and the most ideal way for women to work and I guess teaching it has been one thing and then realizing that it applies to me as well has been another. I think I need to realize that I should take my own advice and not work myself to the bone as I have for the last month and a half or so. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been observing the fact that I've posted every day for almost a month and a half now and ultimately, maybe inevitably, I have burnt myself out. I think I've finally reached a point where there is no more pushing myself with the daily uploads on this one and I think I've just reached a sort of stop point and a plateau where productive ideas are there but I'm just in no state to enact them and I want to be able to approach my work with sort of clear-headedness and at the same time honoring the kind of stuff that I believe and the kind of stuff that I teach and I think I need to listen to my own advice on this one. I still clearly haven't learned my lesson because the last time that I sort of uploaded every single day for two months I hit a very hard wall and I guess I sort of believed that oh if I work hard enough I won't reach out this time if I I don't know maybe I thought I was exempt from not necessarily my own limitations but my own cycles and inevitable ebbs and flow of energy and capabilities and that sort of thing and that's you know not to say that I'm now being lazy but my last video the art of wintering was kind of an allusion to the fact that I think I need to just rest for a while and relax and allow myself to sort of winter and to come back into myself and not push myself that hard because on one hand growing the channel and spreading the message and getting as many women as possible to realize this kind of stuff is very important but then I'm a hypocrite if I don't follow it myself and if I tell you guys you know listen to your body don't push yourself past the point of exhaustion and then go and do something entirely different that it's hypocritical and not the kind of person that I want to be. I know it's very likely that some of you might be watching this video and say oh this girl is just lazy she's you know complaining about having to put out videos when they probably don't take that long for starters they take a lot more energy and a lot more work than you guys might realize but if you're kind of unfamiliar with the sort of things that I believe around the female hormonal cycle and the way that the most optimal way for women to work and to listen to themselves it's the way that I sort of approach work and that I believe work should be approached in women specifically is that men have a hormonal cycle that operates on 24 hours. So essentially every 24 hours their testosterone rises and falls and that basically means that they can have a daily routine that is pretty much the same every day as in their hormones allow for them to be particularly tuned to certain activities throughout the day. For example early in the morning is the best time to go out and to achieve things and to work out and that sort of thing and then sort of mid-afternoon after a testosterone slump you should you know slow down and socialize and that sort of thing and then come home and sort of relax towards the end of the day. Women however operate on a 28 day cycle which means that their hormones change from day to day essentially and you sort of split it up into four phases. So you have the menstrual phase which is the most obvious one. After that you have the follicular phase which is when your hormones are sort of rising, things are sort of budding. Um, then at your ovulation phase you're sort of at the peak, you're at your most social, you're most productive, this is the best time to like work out and be very social, that sort of thing. And then the luteal phase you sort of slowly go down and that's sort of a period of wintering, of resting and winding down, being less social, saying no to things. And then menstruation is of course sort of a time of retreat and wintering and that sort of thing. So. I have been ignoring that for a while now, hoping that I can, you know, power through and somehow force myself to achieve despite it all, despite the fact that I know ostensibly I can't work the same way that a man works. You know, my hormonal fluctuations are always going to affect me to some greater or lesser degree, whether or not I acknowledge them, and I have been acknowledging them. In fact, the last few days I've just been sleeping so much because it's what my body is telling me to do. I'm just at that phase in my cycle where sleep is a priority. And so I think as I have been listening to my body more and I am trying to honor these sort of cues, pushing through despite them, 
is not in my best interest and especially now that I've read some books on female hormones and what is healthy and what is unhealthy I'm realizing just the extent of what pushing through despite everything and pretending that you know you're not experiencing the hormonal changes that you are I'm realizing just how much of an effect they can have on you and how detrimental it can be to your health especially in the luteal and menstrual phase of the cycle High cortisol impacts things like your fertility and your PMS symptoms and in general your health and your holistic sort of view of health. It affects it so much and I'm just starting to learn now I guess that yeah it's one thing to read it on a page and it's another to feel it in your body and it's something that I'm coming to the realization to now but this doesn't mean that I'm you know quitting YouTube or anything it just means that I'm taking a short break to rest and regenerate and recover I will likely still be uploading once or twice a week and then probably as I come back what I'm thinking will be healthier for me is to upload two to three times a week instead of the everyday that I was doing now and then I'm also working on some other things behind the scenes that hopefully you guys will get to see soon but for now <laughs> i think i need to take my own advice and rest and recharge and i'm looking forward to coming back in full swing when this period and this cycle of my life is completed but yeah i think that's all i really have to say for today god bless and goodbye